Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tiffany Hansen. Thank you so much for joining me today. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to do the fan and V crochet stitch. This crochet stitch is absolutely beautiful. It looks great with blankets, it looks great with shawls, with scarves, even with beanies. Really anything you want to make with this crochet stitch will be beautiful. I do want to make you aware that the level of this crochet stitch is an intermediate level. So if you are an absolute beginner or just a beginner crocheter, you are more than welcome to follow along with this pattern, this tutorial. Just understand if there are a few parts that you get stuck or you find difficult, it's okay. This is an intermediate level crochet pattern that will require a lot more focus and a lot more understanding of the stitches and what's going on. So just be patient with yourself. So this pattern I am going to be demonstrating with a yarn that is a size 4 weight worsted medium Aran 1012 ply or 8 WPI sized yarn. I will also be using a crochet hook size H8 or 5 millimeter crochet hook. The terminology that I'm going to use for my stitches is US terminology. If you would like the pattern for this crochet stitch, I do have it for free. I will include the link in the comment section and the notes section or description section below this video. All you have to do is click on that link, print off the pattern, and be ready to crochet with me. If at any point in this video you do like what you see, please push that thumbs up button. And if you haven't yet, subscribe to my channel and click the bell. That way you don't miss any of my videos. I try to release a brand new video every single Friday covering a wide range of different types of crochet projects, tips and tricks, fun giveaways, and you are not going to want to miss out. You may also want to have a stitch marker handy. It is actually something that I highly recommend to even the intermediate level because I'm going to show you in row one how that is extremely important and vital to this pattern. All right, to begin, this pattern does have a multiple stitch count requirement of a multiple of eight plus one for the foundation row and then plus one more for the turning chain. So be aware of that. If you get confused or hung up by multiple stitch count requirements, I did make a video, I'll put a link here at the top of the screen uh, that you can click on and watch. And that video will help you to identify how many stitches you will need to make certain dimensions for a desired project. Okay, so beginning with a slip knot, attaching crochet hook, I'm just going to make a small swatch example to get through this pattern faster with you, uh, but you figure out how many stitches you're going to need for your foundation row. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think that'll be good for a demonstration. And then plus one for the foundation row and plus one more for the turning chain. Brilliant. All right, so for row one, we're going to skip the first five chains. So looking at our V-stitches, one, two, three, four, five. And in the sixth chain, we will make nine double crochet stitches. Now here's where I want you to pause. Go ahead and maybe insert your crochet hook into that sixth chain. So the pattern that we are going to have for row one is we will then skip three chains, one, two, three, and single crochet in that fourth chain. I want you to take your stitch marker, your safety pin, your paper clip, <laughs> your scrap yarn, and I want you to insert that stitch marker into the fourth chain from where we just inserted our crochet hook. What will happen when we make our nine double crochet stitches in this chain is it's going to crowd. It's really going to expand and the next chain over is going to shrink and almost disappear, making it very difficult to see. And what I've gotten in trouble with with this pattern is not being able to see that next chain over so I don't count it and then I, I skip three chains, one, two, three, and then my whole count is off for the rest of the foundation row, row one, and I end row one off count. Okay, so it's very helpful if before you make your nine double crochet stitches in this chain, you identify four chains over, mark it, that way you know that's where I'm putting my single crochet stitch. Okay, so 
Going back to the pattern, making nine double crochet stitches in this sixth chain. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Perfect. See how that stitch just totally shrinks? Now in the stitch space that we have marked, we're going to single crochet. So I'm going to remove my stitch marker so I can actually use the stitch. So it's that stitch right here. Perfect. And single crochet. Then skip three chains. One, two, three. And you'll make nine double crochets in that fourth chain. But before I make my nine double crochets, I'm going to skip three. One, two, three. And mark that fourth chain. There we go. I know it's, it's a little more tedious, but trust me, you're going to thank me. Okay, so nine double crochets. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven, eight, nine. Okay, and then remove your stitch marker. And it's this stitch right there. There we go. And single crochet. And then repeat for row one. Skip three chains. One, two, three. Gonna make nine double crochets in the fourth chain. But before making the nine double crochets, skip three chains, one, two, three, and mark the next, the fourth chain over from that. Now for me, it's just my very first chain or very last chain. At the end of row one, you will make your very last stitch, which should be a single crochet stitch in your very last chain. That will help you to know that you were on count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And then skip three chains and single crochet in the fourth chain. Perfect. So at the end of row one, this is hopefully what you are looking at right there. Perfect. Now, if you would like to, you can always do your row one, a row of single crochet stitches. Just at the end of your chain, skip the first chain single crochet in the second chain from your crochet hook and single crochet in each chain all the way across. You can absolutely do that to make a stronger foundation row. And that might also help you with the whole nine double crochet sections, <laughs> the fans and what they do with the next stitch over that might be helpful for you. But that is just an option with the patterns that I found for the fan and V stitch in two different books. They started the fan right off of the foundation row. So I'm just showing you how the pattern is shown in other locations, but there's an alternative. For row two, we will chain three. One, two, three turn our work. Great. That chain three does count as our first double crochet stitch plus chain one. You will start by making a double crochet stitch in the very first stitch space right here. Perfect. And that forms our first V. All right. Next, we will make five chains. One, two, three, four, Five. You will hop over the fan, find the single crochet stitch, and make a double crochet, chain one, double crochet. Crochet, chain one, 
double crochet. Then chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Hop over the fan, find the single crochet stitch, double crochet, chain one, double crochet. And repeat across for row two. You will end row two, one, two, three, four, five, by double crochet, chain one, double crochet, in that chain right next to your fan. So it would have been your turning chain. There we go. Oh, there we go. Double crochet, chain one, double crochet. Perfect. Okay, so here is what row two will look like. Let me grab our chain fives. So here is ah, kind of what we're looking at here. You got your fans and then you got your row of five chains and then your V stitches. Okay, moving on to row three. For row three, we will chain three. One, two, three. You will turn your work. That chain three does count as our very first double crochet stitch and sets us up. So in this V stitch here, finding the chain one space between your V-stitch, you're gonna make four double crochet stitches. One, two, three, four. So including that chain three that we began with, there's technically five double crochets here, okay? Next, we're going to actually take that chain five and we're going to lay it on top of the fan, keeping them together. Look at the fan below and find the fifth double crochet stitch. So one, two, three, four, five, and single crochet on top of that fifth double crochet stitch. And what this will do is it will secure that chain five to the fan. Okay, see how it, how it did that? Perfect. Next. We will make nine double crochet stitches in that chain one space between the V. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Great. Okay, look at that fan below. Find the fifth double crochet stitch. Now try not to confuse the chains below the fan. If you need to, look at the top of the fan and find that V stitch here to know, oh, that is actually the first double crochet stitch, not that, okay? If you need to look just at the fan here, pull up just the fan, and then count to make sure there's nine double crochets here, and we're looking for the fifth one. One, two, three, four, five, right there, okay? Make sure that that chain five is on top, that way we're not excluding it when we make the single crochet stitch, and then you have this chain five just freely hanging on the back of your project. Okay, we don't want that. So make sure that chain five is on top of our fan and then single crochet over it. So now they're secured together. All right, and then find the next V stitch, the chain one space, make nine double crochet stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and repeat all the way across for row three. You will end row three. Let me show you real quick. One, two, three, four, five. At the end of row three, you're gonna find that V stitch, the chain one space, and you're going to make five double crochet stitches in that last chain one space. One, two, 
three, four, and five. Boom. Okay, the end of row three will look like this. So we're starting to see those fans, the V's and the fans. Perfect. For row four, we already have a fan here. So we're obviously not making a fan on top of this fan. We will chain one, turn our work. We're going to single crochet in the first stitch space. Great. And we will chain two, one, two. We're not making fans this round. We're making the V stitches this round. So in this single crochet stitch, we're making our double crochet, chain one, double crochet. All even number rows are going to be chain five rows, one, two, three, four, five, or V stitch rows. All odd number rows, row three, row five, will be fan rows, okay? If that helps, All right? And then finding the single crochet stitch, double crochet, chain one, double crochet. One, two, three, four, five. So if you know if the row below was a fan that you're not making a fan. Okay, single crochet stitch. We're gonna make double crochet. And to close off row four, we actually want to chain two, one, two, to get us to our very last stitch. We're gonna make our very last stitch a single crochet in the third chain that we began this row with. Because remember that chain three did count as our first stitch. So one, two, three, single crochet in that third chain. Perfect. And this is what row four will look like. Cool. All right, moving on to row five. Row five, we will chain one. We will turn our work. Whoop. For row five, we will single crochet in the very first stitch single crochet. And then we have our V stitches. So we know that we're going to be making our fans now. Finding that V stitch, the chain one between, and making our nine double crochet stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, perfect. Okay, so we have our chain five, so we're gonna look at the fan below it and find the fifth double crochet stitch. One, two, three, four, five, single crochet in the top of the fifth double crochet stitch, and repeat. Find the next V stitch, nine double crochets in the chain one space between the V, Great, and then chain five, finding the fifth double crochet. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, you're going to end row five by making one single crochet stitch in the last stitch space right there. Perfect, so this is row five. You're really seeing those fans and Vs. Your row will either be fans or Vs. So if it's an even number row, it'll be Vs. If it's an odd number row, it'll be fans. Last row of this repeat is row six. So for row six, we will chain three, one, two, three. We will turn our work. 
Perfect. That chain three does count as our first double crochet plus chain one. We see that we have our fan here, bottom here. We're making our V-stitch. So make one double crochet in the first stitch space. And there's our V-stitch. And then five chains to hop over the fan. Two, three, four, five. Single crochet stitch, making your double crochet, chain one, double crochet. Fan, so making five chains. Four, five. Great, at the end of row six, you're going to make your double crochet, chain one, double crochet in that very last stitch space. Perfect, and that is row six. And a really good example of how this pattern is going to lay out. Because the rest of this pattern is just repeating row three through row six. So row three, four, five, six, then three, four, five, six, three, four, five, six. Okay, you're just repeating those rows over and over and over. So if you need to go back in the tutorial, I'm going to be very helpful by making time stamps for row three, four, five, and six. So you can go back and find exactly what you're supposed to be doing in that row. Eventually you'll really start picking up on the pattern. So here we have a V stitch. So we know that we're going to be putting a fan or a half fan on top of that V stitch to do the pattern. So let me pull up the full example that I made. Here is the swatch that I made previously. And what I discovered was there were a total of two full fans wide and a four inch by four inch section, two whole fans wide and two and a half fans tall. So I started, I found the fan, started at the base of the fan, the V-stitch. So it was two full fans plus a V-stitch and that was four inches tall. The other way I found was 12 stitches per four inches wide or eight rows tall for four inches long. So those are the dimensions that I found with the size yarn and size crochet hook that I utilized to make this example. I hope it made sense. I know it is a little more challenging. So if you have questions, please feel free to ask in the comment section below. I do know that there are some tweaks that I made to this pattern as in some people will, or some patterns will not have you single crochet in the first stitch space. They'll just have you chain into that stitch space, but I found that to be confusing and that the single crochet stitches really helped square everything off and make it more easy to understand the row. Again, if that doesn't make any sense to you, I understand. I just hope that if you follow each row, how I showed in this pattern, that you're good to go, that it all makes sense and that you're able to make this gorgeous pattern. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you enjoyed this pattern, you might also really enjoy all of these other patterns right here. Also check out this video, which is just a recommended video for you to watch. I really appreciate your time. Thank you for watching my video and crocheting with me. I always love crocheting with you. I hope you have the best day and I will see you <laughs> with my next tutorial. Bye guys.